Disturbing details of Georgia school bleeping suspects broken home life, reporter replay. NY Post. Colt Gray, the baby-faced Georgia school bleeping suspect who is charged with bleeping two classmates and two teachers, grew up in a broken and neglectful home, which police and child services visited. On a regular basis, a former neighbor and landlord tell the Post. Below are your comments. This is part of the disconnect with the reality of a thing and the concept of a thing. So many people say they're pro-life, when what they actually mean is that they are pro-birth. You can't say you're pro-life and not want a system in place to safely and carefully care for children and who've lost or otherwise been separated, sometimes needfully, from there. There's almost zero interest in providing this on a systemic scale for these innocents so that they re-cared for and safeguarded. There are likely some fledgling groups who take a shot at this, and of course the government, but no. Nay of them have been able to suitably address this. Child services failed this teenager horribly. They need to pick up the mother too. She is guilty in this. Should a, would a, could a. That kid should have been taken from that home long ago. It may have saved him. Broken home or not. That gun is huge. So you tell me he simply walks up past everyone carrying the thing and bleeps people. What is wrong with this picture? Please wait a moment. The techies at the NSA really helped out Yahoo with the bot farms and fake accounts, down pat. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.